Morning all. Grey skies. Lots of activity going on. Tabby's just back from, uh, where were you, Boardmasters? Yeah. So she's feeling suitably <laughs> tired and hungover or whatever. I think she got a bus back <laughs> from Cornwall this morning. Um, so we're very impressed that she got to work. Um, Jason's just down here on um, a horse that's in for a couple of weeks. Um, just a young horse that's having a few little um, issues here and there, but he's gorgeous. And up here, oh, there's Rosie on Frog, Frog it. Um, so she is busy practicing her dressage, which is probably Frog's least favorite activity. Um, but she's working very, very hard on his dressage because she has qualified for the grassroots championships, um, eventing championships, which is in a couple of weeks time. So we're going off up to East Anglia for that. Um, so Jason's just working on a horse, a young horse that's um, a little bit rushy, um, but he did say he would be finished on that horse and ready for the next one. Um, so he's, he's still going. Um, so Froggit is a, um, we call him the Irish bog pony, but actually he's a lot, it's, that's not actually um, a bad thing to be. He jumps like a stag, he's absolutely fab, but um, yeah, Rosie's working very hard on his dressage. And so this gorgeous boy down here, he's just still a little bit worried about the rider. So he's just come for a couple of weeks. Jason's just doing a bit of sort of ridden desensitization on him and um, just getting him nice and chilled out and happy with the rider and ready to go on and win lots of ribbons in the dressage arena. Um, I'm sure you can see there, you know, he's a big handsome horse. He's got heaps of movement. Um, I'm just going to flick over here. So uh, we had um, a new intake of young horses for starting. And um, funnily enough, um, well, not funnily enough, um, Jason and I have been looking around for a young horse to buy, a sort of uh, unbacked three-year-old. And we were going to go and look at this horse. And... Um, it's turned up on our yard to be started so it was sold before we got to look at her and um but she's come to us for starting she's from the alva scott stud um bought by um a client of ben franklin who who does us a great trade he's very kind and he um recommends us a lot and she's a lovely lovely three-year-old um just here for for backing and then she'll go off I think dressage, but you know, all the Alva Scott horses, they have a jump in them too. So she is lovely. The other young horses that are in um, are actually out in the fields. They've been worked already. They're out in the fields. This is Rosie's other little pony, Poppy, who um, has, her belly has exploded with the um, grass. So she is going into a paddock, which has uh, got less grass going on. Right. Hi Jace, how's it going? Good? Good, yeah, yeah. We're just giving uh, quite a nervous dressage horse a bit of a ride and just getting him used to me moving around. Um, me moving around on him and getting him to do a couple of poles and bits and pieces, which he was a little bit reluctant to do when I first got him, so he just saw, the, saw him just starting to accept it then which is good but yeah and also what i'm really doing is making sure i've got a turn on him so because he gets a bit nervous he might might sort of scuttle off and i've got to make sure i i can control control any sort of anxiety and that sort of thing and show him that it's all right and he's starting to get it but over the next few days we'll just keep doing different things and testing him and hopefully he just 
learns to accept what's going on. We're gonna so, go and... yeah, we, we, so we've got a little treat for you. Oh. Well, I don't know if it's a treat or not. So, um, yeah, so we've got like all these um, new young horses in who are all sort of, you know, 16 to plus, very well bred, sort of warm bloods. Um, let me grab, let me oh, we've also still got Nini here. Nini and her traffic training. You might be able to hear the tractor in the background. She is coming along well, though. She's um, improved loads with her traffic. Um, but Jason's just going to do some work with um, sort of the opposite end of the scale. So I hope I'm like building up for some sort of <laughs> amazing reveal in a minute. Um, so over the weekend, uh, well, yesterday, we had the, the young horses arriving, but we also had another little arrival, and I say little, um, Tonto. So Tonto arrived, and you're going to have to ex you're going to have to excuse. This is um, we just always keep a pen around the back of the stables, just in case you know a horse suddenly has um, you know a snotty nose or whatever. But it's also great for ponies like this who have had no handling well it's a funny one because i think it has been handled a little bit so you can touch it and things but i think they've tried to lead it and it has literally carted them off so they don't have any control but it sort of knows a little bit about humans and i'm not sure what's worse i think he was gelded last year and he's, he's, he's eight years old isn't he he's, just been he's gelded eight years old so he's basically a rescue. Um, uh, a lovely lady's, um, you know, seen him and, and brought him in and that's um, brilliant. So yeah, they managed to get him on the, they managed to get him here, which was a result. And they, the last time that he was sedated, I think, they popped a head collar on so he has, can I come in as well or not? Mm. Mm. Okay, you're going to have to. You might have to, you might be able to. Yeah, no. I think no, <laughs> okay, I we'll, stay, we'll stay outside ah. here. So this is one, of, it's actually like a lunging pen um, that we just keep around the back here. I, I haven't actually handled him yet, so it's just to see. Yeah, so he arrived yesterday and we've just let him settle in. And um, yeah, you can see he is, he has been handled. I think it's as much a case of teaching him to lead yeah. as anything else. So. so he's never, you know, they've said he's never really been led before. So you can touch him all over and things like that, but he is very wary. And um, I think they said if you try and get him to, he's sort of okay with things on his terms. But if you try and do something, you know, he doesn't want to do, he... Uh, isn't that happy about it. So they did manage to keep a head collar on um, on him. Um, so that's a bonus. And they managed to herd him into the truck and we managed to herd him into this, uh, into the lunge pen. So you can see he's, he's not too wary. Oh my goodness, you can see he's very, very strong. <laughs> Is that what you do need to teach him? Um I'm using this head collar, but it might make it a little bit tricky. Yeah, so Jason would normally use a rope head collar, which gives him a lot more direct um, action on the nose and the pole. So it gives it a lot more control than one of these kind of head collars. So that would be exactly what he would do. He would get out, lock his neck, go the other way and see you later. So we'll just, we'll just have a little play with him and make sure he understands and I give it a pull, just turn and look at me. That's my first port of call. Yeah, so instead of looking out the other eye and sort of looking to run away, Jason's trying to get him to keep looking towards him. I mean, he is very, very cute. <laughs> but, you know, he's, he's been a stallion for sort of seven or eight years of his life, had very, very little handling. And what handling he has had um, has been on his terms, most definitely. Um, they've managed to sort of sedate him every now and again to sort of give his feet a trim and things like that. 
You can see he really, that's his, that's yeah, that's his little trick, isn't it, Jace? Yeah. yeah, so, <clears throat> so that'll be one I'll have to work with because he's, he's obviously had a few wins with that. And although he doesn't seem bad, they, they said they had to hurt him up. They tried leading and he just, I, I would imagine, locked his jaw, went the opposite way and there's just nothing they could do about it. So, so I'm going to tinker with that for a little bit and see how yeah. we go. Yeah, D Teresa, you're right. His whole world has turned upside down. I mean, the, his, his owner, his now owner, I think has had him for quite a few months and has done a really good job, but they've just got um, stuck. Um, and, and he's going to be with us for two weeks and hopefully within those two weeks, um, you know, he's never been in a stable really and all that kind of thing so we're gonna have to um oh, I think he has been oh he has been in a stable a barn. A, a, a barn i think that's where they found him on handled feet not you know they're having to sedate him to do his feet and it was just yeah yeah i just think a little bit of handling and his quality of life will go right up because yeah. um yeah you're a lovely little man now aren't you <laughs> Um, so they're just hoping to, you know, I don't think he'll be a ridden pony particularly, um, but he will be able to, um, you know, that the owners will be able to have a bit of fun with him and um, have a much better relationship um, with them. So you can see now he's starting to sort of lock on to Jason and starting to follow him round. Yeah, you can see there, when you, when you get a horse like this, if you put in a constant pull on a little ball, shall we say, like, like Tonto, he's like strong, although he's small. If you just put a constant pull on, they lock their neck out, and then you could be the strongest person in the world. You will not stop him from carting you down the field. So you can see I'm trying to keep an angle. So when he locks his neck and tries to go away, I'm in a small space, so he can't get away from me. And I'll try to keep an angle so I can get his neck to, to just break and turn my way. And I'm doing that with bumps. I'm, I'm giving a little bump and release to try and get him to just turn his head because he can't really lock against that in the same way. Um, so you'll see me doing that. And the most important thing is when he does look my way, I just, just go a bit quiet. So, we'll... so where he is, um, sort of opposite in this direction, he can see horses over the side. So he's, um, you know, he's got some buddies in his, in his eye line. And he's sort of tolerating that. <laughs> he doesn't look particularly happy about it, but he's not too bad. Yeah, he's giving it a go. So that's all I can ask at this stage. He's still going, what are you doing? But at the same time, you know, he's given it a chance. And if he's given it a chance, that's all we can ask. So someone asked um, whether he's um, a sort of Dartmoor Hill pony. I, d I don't actually know where where he's he's from. He's not like a... He's not like a proper rescue pony. It's not that he's been ne neglected or he hasn't just been um, bought off the moors or anything. Um, he has been around humans. Um, yeah, so you're not starting completely from scratch, but it's been on his terms and he's never been led before as far as they can work out. Um, so this is massive progress. Well, well. well must have been doing this. So you can see Jason's just got a, a lunge whip there. That's not to use to, um, you know, hit him with or anything. It's just an extension of his arm and it's used as a sort of guiding baton. Jason calls it his conductor's baton. So he's just asking him to step round so he's behind Jason. Oh, there he goes. Ah, you can see how strong he is. Yeah, so he didn't like that. He didn't like being told to go behind Jason there. And so last time he locked on and he tried to 
switch back the other way, but that time was much better. He just gave a little look out of his right eye then. He looked at me and he thought, shall we, uh, shall I try and go back the other way or shall I? <laughs> So Jason just said this is teaching him the forward cue and, um, you know, the, the sort of following. So when he puts the lunge whip to the side of him and he might just give him a little touch on the sides, it, that is a forward cue. Yeah, so watch his hind legs. When Jason gives him a pull, you can see the hind legs crossing over. So he's sort of disengaging the hind end, taking away any power for him to run off. And then when he does the right thing, he just has a little rest, a little rub over. I'll do one more of those and then we'll leave him. Yeah. I'll just repeat that as the day goes on. Well, I don't know if you could hear Jason, but he'll do one more of those around the other way and then just leave him. And he'll just keep, keep coming back to it during the day, just, you know, spending five or 10 minutes of time and just repeat. He's just asking him to come back around behind him. Yeah, he's looking to sort of just run through instead of, yeah. Not going from that space. Yeah. So it's important when he's teaching him to, to lead that he's not leading sort of by his side. He's actually right behind him. So he's not um, <clears throat> going to just sort of barge right through the side of him if he gets a fright or if he decides he wants to go in a different direction. So obviously the, this Tonto is very different from... Um, the usual sort of horses and ponies we get in for training, but but we do get the odd, um, you know, pony like this who hasn't had hasn't had much handling, and it's always quite interesting. Um, in the past, when we used to take a lot more horses and ponies at a time, um, we used to take um, rescue ponies that have been sort of rescued off the you know North Kent. Um, I can't remember the charity. Um, Happy, Happy Endings Horse Rescue, I think. We've done a few ponies for them, and yeah, they've gone on to be nice uh, riding ponies. So he's trying to cut in on the inside there. So Jason's just asking him to get back out and around behind him. Oh, he's done pretty well for his first lesson. Really good. So yesterday he just um, was allowed to settle in and uh, David would come in and give him a bit of hay, give him a feed, give him water and just familiarise him to, um, to what's going on here. And during the two weeks, he'll sort of move into the stables and just move into the more yard environment. Um, and uh, yeah, cool. Great job. See you, Tonto. So I'll probably handle, <laughs> I'll probably handle Tonto about three times today and tomorrow. And maybe the last, last session tomorrow, we'll take him out and around the yard, give him a look at being tied up and things like that. Now you can see I've got my forward cue with a little tap, but I have to be careful just then when I was tapping him, asking him to come forward, he was wanting to drop in front of me. It's not that I want horses to always lead behind me, but I want to be able to control where they go. And in the first instance, I like horses to be on my, slightly on my outside shoulder or, or behind me and following, my, following me like a train, as it were. Um, and he was just starting to get that, which is all I, all I can ask in the first session. Perfect. Cool.
All right, guys, well, we might um, check in with Tonto another time, another Tuesday. Look at him, he's like, what is going on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's very cute. He's got his buddy in the field over there that he can see. And um, yeah, perfect. All right, guys, well, we'll leave it there and um, have a lovely week. All right, see you later. See you Bye. Later.